This is Evan Robb, principal of Johnson Williams Middle School. Excited to share some information about our new school hybrid opening on November 16th. We are creating some videos that we think will help families and students out. So I want to talk a little bit about the videos that you'll be able to see that hopefully will answer some questions that you have um, as you start thinking about coming back into Johnson Williams, particularly our students who have selected a hybrid schedule. So we're going to have a couple videos. One video is going to be explaining temperature checks prior to entering Johnson Williams Middle School. We're going to have a video for procedures related to moving through the hallway, cafeteria, and stairwells. We also have a video for entering a classroom and sanitizing a desk. That's certainly a question that has come my way. We want to make sure that we can address that. Please take some time and watch these videos. And also, please take a look at our newsletter. Our newsletter has even more information about questions that families or community members might have about what's going to be new here at Johnson Williams November 16th when we begin our hybrid opening. A couple reminders to students um, and requests from families. We, of course, at Johnson Williams, but also in Clark County Public Schools, are very serious about our health and safety protocols. We want to make sure that our buildings are safe for staff and, of course, safe for students. And we want families to be assured that when your child, if your child has selected a hybrid schedule, that they'll be safe here in Johnson Williams. So our safety protocols are very important. And, of course, in the videos that you watch, you'll be able to learn a little bit about those and also more in the newsletter, as I had just mentioned. Students, when you come into the building, we request a two-layered mask. As you come into Johnson Williams, of course, I shared my Johnson Williams mask, which these are available if you wish to purchase those. No single layered mask. So a single layer could be a gaiter, it could be a scarf, you know, and of course, no masks that have mesh in them. That would be appropriate because it wouldn't allow for us to have the most safe environment. If families have any questions about that, please feel free to contact me or contact your child's teacher. Also, a reminder to families. If your student has, if your child has selected a hybrid schedule, please make sure that every night the Chromebook is charged in. I want to make sure that the Chromebooks have adequate charge uh, throughout the school day, and charging it in at night and making that part of your routine will really help us out a lot. And students, we ask that you just pay a little attention to some of the videos, perhaps that you might stream on a Chromebook, because that can hinder your charge and potentially uh, you won't be able to have access to the Chromebook when you need it during the academic school day. But most importantly, as I wrap up my section of the video, I would like to say thank you to our parents and to our community. Johnson Williams is very fortunate. We've had tremendous support from parents in our community, and we appreciate it. We really do. Our teachers have been working very hard to make sure that the hybrid transition is successful for students and families that have selected hybrid, and equally hard for families that have selected virtual to make sure that that continues in a positive way for your family. So I'm excited about November 16th. Please make sure you watch the videos, check out the newsletter, and we look forward to a successful hybrid opening here at Johnson Williams Middle School. Thank you.